Well, let's talk poultry for a minute. Let's. I know uh, from watching TMZ religiously, you had some situations with your chickens. I did. I know they were missing. I know as a former special ops guy, (laughs) you went deep cover with night night vision goggles and God knows what else. Because these chickens were being removed from from where? Your backyard? Yeah, backyard. Something was getting in the chicken coop. I mean, ripping heads off. I mean, it was a whole, it was a, it was, there was a bloodbath there for two or three days. And you couldn't, you didn't know what the, who the culprit was or what the culprit was, right? Put put up cameras, a lot of cameras. And I mean, this thing was basically just outsmarting me at all, all turns. Mm -hmm. And at some point, how many chickens do you lose in total? We probably lost six, six or seven. Now they would mutilate the chicken or make off with the chicken. It was kind of, yeah, it was, it was, they would mutilate. They just rip their heads off and leave them. Really? Which I, and then, you know, the next night, if they couldn't get in, you know, they would mess around, move that chicken around, eat a little bit and roll out. But if they could get a new one, they do the exact same thing to it. So they were killing for sport. Yeah. They were sport. They were just sport killing. <laughs> <laughs> so it, was, it, it sounds was, like there's a demonic cult that lives in the woods behind your house, but this wasn't that. This was another creature. It was a it, they were raccoons. It was a family of raccoons just sport killing my chickens. That is so bizarre to me. I and I got on. I got on. I mean, I was on just chicken forums. I mean, I was all over the map. And I guess that is the uh, that is the calling card of raccoons. Like it, that's just what they do. I'm reading it's very common. Yeah, it's very common. I didn't know that until obviously I went down this whole rabbit hole of, of chicken killing. You, you color me surprised as well. Yeah. A, uh, I, mean, I, thought, I thought maybe a bobcat, you know, I know, I know skunks and possums do stuff. I thought maybe an owl was getting in there. Yeah. Um, you know, all the night creatures, but the damn rac- raccoons. Says a raccoon can kill an entire flock in minutes, but now vicious, vicious little animals. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not Steve Irwin, but I thought animals either killed to eat or killed because the the whoever they were killing posed a threat to them. I didn't know there was just sort of sport killing. Yeah, I guess. I mean, raccoons. I guess are just assassins of the of the tree world. How did you How did you figure out it was a, a raccoon? I finally got one. I, I had a bunch of live traps everywhere and I finally got one in the live trap. And then I got another one and then I got another one. And I was like, all right, we've, we've got a, we've got a family of killers running around here. Where did uh now, what do you do with the chickens? Do you get the eggs? Do you eat the chickens? Eggs. Yeah, just the eggs. But I mean, they, they've got a shelf life too. Um, you know, three to five years, they'll just stop producing eggs. Didn't know that either. So. And then what do you do with them? Then you, then you can, then you can add, can eat them. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and by the way, you know, they always, I didn't grow up on a farm, you know, when they talk uh-huh. about grabbing them and just breaking their neck or doing whatever, I could never do any of that stuff. It freaked me out. You know, you can, you can go, you can kind of grab them and then just kind of like whip it. And like, I mean, bird, they, do, they do it with birds and stuff like quail and stuff like that. You can just rip it. And a lot of times the head just will pop off. Really? It'll just come off. I mean, just pops off. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but it's, uh, I mean, it's like, a, I mean the, the animal world and like, uh, where your food comes and like, people just don't realize like the, the killing that is involved in when you go to the supermarket, like these animals <laughs> didn't just show up like that. Like they, they were killed in, in certain ways and it's not pretty, but it's, it's just the, the, the cycle that happens. No, I know I'm, I'm, I'm an ugly American who, chooses not to think about it but yeah no one does i'm not as bad as these there's all these hypocrites out there that are like they're against hunting but they eat meat and they just announce it's kind of part and parcel of like where we are now like they go i don't like hunting and you go well you do eat meat right and they go oh yeah yeah, i eat meat then you go where do you think that meat comes from and they go i know i know but i don't like hunting